My BFI player choice this week is a Cannes Prize winner from 2016, an eerily unpredictable oddity from director Koji Fukada that at first seems deceptively low-key but gradually builds toward an unsettling denouement that got right under my skin, Harmonium. When a family, Toshio, Aki, and their daughter, Hotaro, is visited by the mysterious Yasaka, Toshio immediately offers him work and lodgings while revealing little about their shared past. It's clear that Toshio and Yasaka, who's been in jail, have history, but the exact nature of their relationship is unclear. What is clear is that Yasaka's presence causes the family's routine to unravel, creating ripples in their orderly existence, disrupting the staid beats of life to which they've become accustomed. To say much more about the plot would be to spoil the strangely simmering mood of Fukada's film, a film in which nothing and everything seems to be happening simultaneously, and in which key details are often revealed more through gesture than explanation. As one American critic said of Harmonium on its first release, your response to Fukada's latest depends on your ability and desire to get used to its lack of normal rhythm. Now, having scored a critical hit with his 2010 comedy Hospitalite and raised eyebrows with 2015's divisive Sayonara, sold as the first movie to feature an android performing opposite a human actor, Fukada scored a festival hit with Harmonium, which won Best Actor and Best Actress awards for Tadanobu Asano and Mariko Tatsui in Hong Kong and Japan, respectively, alongside the Uncertain Regard Jury Prize at Cannes. Now, personally, I think it's Fukada's best film although I have yet to catch up with his most recent offering, A Girl Missing. I wonder what you'll make of it.